Good evening. O.J. Simpson, one of America's best-known sports and entertainment personalities, remains secluded in his Los Angeles home tonight as reports and rumors about his possible connection to his ex-wife's murder are getting wide play. There has been no formal police action, but the coroner's report is in. Nicole Simpson and the man found with her had multiple wounds. O.J. Simpson has not been seen since he arrived late yesterday at his Brentwood estate. Family members and friends stayed with him through the night and continued arriving today. The bodies of Simpson's ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and Ronald Goldman were discovered early Monday morning. Later, a police forensics team began a search of the crime scene and O.J. Simpson's home. Investigators removed several pieces of evidence from both properties. A blood-soaked glove, according to the Los Angeles Times, found at O.J. Simpson's home and believed used during the killings. A second newspaper reports the matching glove was found at the crime scene. Samples of reddish-brown stains on the driveway at O.J. Simpson's home. A pair of white tennis shoes believed to belong to O.J. Simpson and a four-wheel drive Ford Bronco registered to Hertz Rent-A-Car, the company Simpson has pitched for years in television commercials. NBC News reconstructed the events leading up to and after the murders. Early Sunday evening, O.J. Simpson, Nicole Simpson, and their children gathered at a local dance school where the eldest daughter performed in a ballet recital. After that, the family parted company. Nicole and the children joined a party of family and friends at the Mezzaluna Italian restaurant a short distance from her home. Investigators estimate that Nicole Simpson and Ronald Goldman, a waiter at the restaurant, were killed between 10 and 11 Sunday night. Neighbors told police they heard dogs barking wildly just before 11. At 11.32, O.J. Simpson checked his luggage, then boarded an 11.45 American Airlines Flight 668 bound for Chicago. The bodies were found at 12.10 Monday morning outside Mrs. Simpson's Brentwood home, usually a 20-minute drive to L.A. International Airport. O.J. Simpson's flight landed in Chicago at 5.48 Central Time. He checked into the O'Hare Plaza Hotel near the airport at about 6.15 Monday morning. According to hotel manager Peter Phillips, Simpson received one telephone call, then made about 10 calls. He checked out of the hotel almost immediately after making those calls. Simpson then boarded a 941 flight to Los Angeles. He arrived at Los Angeles International Airport at 11.08 Pacific time and was questioned by police for about three hours and then released. Police refused to say anything about the investigation or the nature of Mrs. Simpson's relationship to Ronald Goldman, the second victim. Employees at the restaurant where Goldman worked say he went to her home Sunday evening to return her glasses. At this hour, O.J. Simpson remains at his Brentwood estate. Late this afternoon, the L.A. County Coroner's Office released partial autopsy results. They indicate that both Mrs. Simpson and Ronald Goldman died of multiple sharp force injuries and stab wounds. Police are also still awaiting the results of forensic tests on items collected at the crime scene and at O.J. Simpson's home.